Alright, let's go down below and see if we can get them to kind of change their, their MO a little bit. Okay, let's head back up. Remember, we cannot get stunned. Get out of the way. Out of the way. Coming through. Welcome back, everybody, to 70s and I'm Alpha 21. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Apocalypse Ranger series. And uh, we are going to go through Horde Night 77 in this episode. Uh, I managed to get the second tower completely finished. Um, and it is identical to that tower, except for the fact that it has a third doorway, which will, you know, lead over to the third tower. I got the base of the third tower finished, but uh, then I basically ran out of resources. I did um, set up a fourth um, forge uh, back at the base, too. Um, so we have, you know, so we can increase our steel production. But, you know, once I get, um, once I get these towers built, you know, then we're not going to need to produce massive amounts of steel. I also, I also created a new uh, pit mine too, uh, for iron and stuff. Uh, so the horde base or, or rather the home base is, uh, busy, you know, cranking out more steel and stuff for us and bringing in screamers like it always does. Uh, the other thing that I did differently here is that I put some plates on the front of the door here to, to add some extra armor to it. Um, and I put a third layer of steel, uh, just a plate. So that's a, a separate plate. So, so we essentially have a, a triple layered bridge here, uh, now too. So those are some things that I did differently, uh, since uh, the build that we did in the last episode. Okay. So let's, um, hop up here and, um, we are pretty much ready to rock and roll. I have a shit ton <laughs> of explosives in my inventory whole mess of grenades and if we run out of grenades i made a bunch of pipe bombs too because they're just cheap and easy and then uh, we have uh, quite a bit of 762 ammo uh that we will use if we run out of explosives you know before the night is over i only have um three atom junkies but we'll use those and then after that you know it, it, it is what it is so I'm expecting this horde to be really, really nasty. Um, and so we're going to have to really stay on our toes and just kind of keep an eye on the tower. The ideal scenario is that this tower holds up well enough until, you know, about one o'clock or so in the morning, which is about halfway through the horde night. And then, then we jump over and finish it uh, on that side. Uh, if, however, the towers look like they're, they're fa failing more quickly, um, I don't want to have to completely rebuild them, so we might, you know, jump down and finish out the Horde Knight uh, at the bottom. So we'll just see how things go. Um, the degree to which we get um, demolishers tonight will also have a huge impact on, um, you know, on, on how damaged the towers get. And uh, so we'll see how that goes. I'll probably be using double explosions for for all the zombies unless we get if we get demolishers we might try like a triple or even a quad explosion to try and just kill them immediately so that they don't go off on us so we'll see how that goes all right uh in terms of points not that they matter so much to us anymore we we're starting off with eight points so we'll see you know what we ultimately end up with uh, by the end of the night So some of them will stay out there and kind of meander around, uh, but the majority of them do come to us because there's no other route to us other than into this chamber. Um, and that's why, you know, I think we need to, I, I need to line that little curtain wall thingy out there with steel because they will, they, they will hit on it. But as long as we get the majority of them coming into this chamber, which I think we will. Uh, this should be a, an effective design.
Yeah, we're starting to get more coming in here. That's good. Let's do a double. There we go. We got our next skill point. See, I really like these scaffolding ladders too because yeah, look at them all coming over here. Oh my goodness. Because <laughs> we can throw, you know, throw the grenades out there too. Let's stand back this way a little more and see if that draws a few more of them in. It looks like maybe it does, but it's hard to say. They're, their behavior is somewhat random. Seventy-nine thousand XP. Okay, so that takes care of our first stack of grenades. And we got our second skill point of the night and an arm. Look at that. Okay. A lot of them must uh, either be spawning or have fallen down below because they're coming up the ramp, which is very interesting. Thirty-one thousand XP there. Come on, guys, get away from there. Yeah, that's really interesting that they're coming from down below. My my only, I guess they just fell down or something, or like I said, they're actually spawning down there. 32,000. So far, no um, demolishers, but that doesn't mean they won't show up later. They probably will. There's our third skill point of the night. Uh, we haven't had any buzzer jet either, but again, that doesn't mean anything. They could show up later. Everybody's pretty much staying away from the other tower, which is good. All right, guys. Well, that's our second stack of grenades there. I think what we'll do at this point is uh, we'll just uh, do a little bit of time lapse. And um, if you guys want to, just for funsies, play like a little mini game with yourself, just watch my... Whoops, <laughs> that one didn't work. Uh, just watch my XP bar go up um, as the time lapse. Yeah, I can't quite throw it out at that angle as the time lapse goes on, and uh, we'll see. We'll see how many points we get tonight. Um, okay, let's have some fun.
Alright guys, so um, as you've probably noticed, I'm having a, a minor issue with them not coming into the explosion chamber but staying outside. Um, that's not a bad thing in in the from the standpoint of our survivability. Um, but it is of course we're not getting our maximum XP and stuff. Um, but the bridge is still there as you can see. They haven't like broken it. So yeah, it's just they're they're really weird, erratic behavior. So we're gonna try something here. Um, let's let's get these back on the toolbar. We're gonna see if we can just kind of mix them up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna take a four bites, and uh, let's actually eat some food and chase that down with some beverage because um, we're gonna get really thirsty now. I'm also gonna take a. A recog. Take one more of those. Make sure this is completely repaired. And load it up. Alright. Let's go down below and see if we can get them to kind of change their, their MO a little bit. Oh, look at all the bags that are down here, too. We're just gonna... We're just gonna stay down here for a couple of moments, and then we'll run back up. And I'm just... You know, I'm just again, I'm just trying to stir them up and mix them up a little bit so they quit derping. Start seeing a bunch of them come down the ramp or or fall down. Yeah, see see them all starting to come down the ramp there. Okay, let's head back up. Remember, we cannot get stunned. Get out of the way. Out of the way. Coming through. No, not that. And we're back in our cage. Okay. All right, let's see if that stirs them up enough to start coming back in here. See, they're all coming back out of the, the tunnel now. And it's morning. Okay, so no more new new hordies. Let's just clean up the trash here. Oh, now they all come in here. Let's give them a triple. Nice. 59,000. <laughs> now we got a screamer. Of course we do. Go away, screamer. Oh, that didn't kill her. She just called in a new horde, but that's all right. More XP for us. Okay. So I think we're largely finished here. I 
still hear somebody beating on something somewhere. Oh. Uh, oops. Yeah, somebody in one of these holes down here. I can't quite see where they are. Okay. Um, so let's assess. Well, actually, here, before we assess, let's loot. See if we get anything good. That's good. That's really good. Very good. All right, anything else out here before we go? Yeah, let's get everything inside of here. Look at that, man. What's up with the SWAT helmets? I'm not complaining. I'll take them. I'm just going to read that just to, so it doesn't take up. Okay, that's good. Knife guy. That's, oh my goodness, that's really good. That's an actual, well, is it an upgrade? Where's our impact driver? Oh, we already have a purple impact driver. But this new one is actually a little bit better. Okay, cool. So we've already seen some pretty decent loot. The usual mining helmets. I don't know what the hell's up with that. Uh, we're thirsty again. There's something there. And I think... Here, let's walk the perimeter before we go down. Just to make sure there isn't anything. Uh, yeah, I can't... Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, got a little bit of military fiber. So, I think what I'm going to need to do, I wasn't planning on doing this, but, you know, since they really like to stay out here and and mess with the, you know, our little uh, wall here and continue to dig holes, I think I'm going to have to probably reinforce you know, all of this, like I was planning on doing anyways, and maybe even concrete up uh, a few blocks out from the wall. So, yeah, we'll have to see how uh, how that goes. Vehicle magazine. Those we're definitely still looking for. Oh, look at that. Are those better than what we have? They are not. Okay, so those are solid men. And I'm out of room. <laughs> Another impact driver. Okay. We're going to need to get rid of a couple of things. Uh, we definitely want that. And we'll read the shotgun magazine. I definitely want the peas and the beer. Um, tell you what we're going to do, at least temporarily here. Okay, we got a trap magazine, or robotics rather. And it looks like that's it. Uh, anything in the tunnel? Probably not, because nobody got killed in the tunnel. All right, very good. So now let's uh, let's assess the damage. So, oh, wait a minute, we got a a bag up here. Okay. Um, so the base of this tower is in pretty good shape overall. You know, keep in mind, too, this thing is solid steel uh, all the way five blocks up. It's solid steel. Um, so there wasn't a whole lot of zombies all the way at the bottom trying to take our tower out from down here. And then any damage that's on these other towers is probably just surface damage. Well, they did they did pound on that a bit. But not a big deal to fix any of that at all. So we really only lost one one block here. Um, might as well repair that right now. And then I'll, I'll come back down here and do all the repairs off camera. They haven't... They haven't really... Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. I don't have any concrete on me. They haven't really messed with the the uh, ramp here either. I mean, there's little damage here and there. But uh, for the most part, they're not messing with this, which is good, because this is really critical for them to be able to cycle back up or down, as the case may be. We've already seen, you know, that they've 
done a decent number on our wall here, so um, that should be all upgraded to steel, at least the first block, maybe even the first two blocks before the next Horde Knight. Uh, as far as this tower goes, there's looks like there's just a little bit of incidental damage here, but nothing major. And so, you know, the main tower, of course, is this guy. And uh, I, th I would say it held up pretty well, all things considered. But remember, too, we didn't get any we didn't get any demolishers at all. So, um, when, which basically means without demolishers, you could do this with one tower easily. But with demolishers, you know, those are the ones that really uh, change things up, I guess. But um, yeah, this this tower held up uh, quite well, or this chamber, I should say. Not a ton of blocks missing. There are some, of course, but not not a lot. I'm surprised too that it's actually the third layer that took the most damage, as opposed to the second layer. But it might be because because this is um a plate block that they're standing on, so that might cause them to hit three blocks up instead of two blocks up. That would seem to be uh, the, what's being indicated here. So uh, overall, though, I'm pretty impressed with, with how well the tower stood up. But again, we won't really we won't really see the, the full effectiveness of this setup until we're dealing with demolishers all night. So the Horde, uh, the Horde Knight didn't throw any demolishers or any buzzers at us this time, but that doesn't mean they won't do it next time. So, um, but I, I would definitely call this a success. Try that again. I would definitely call this a success in terms of survivability. Yeah, there was never any point at all. Oh, wow. Look at that. Where we were in danger. How in the hell did that happen? The only thing I can think of that would have caused that is concentrated cop spit. Because they, they, they weren't able to get over there. That's very interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. But still, I mean, the, the, the overall structure, yeah, same there. The overall structure held up very well. That's got to be cop spit. I, there's no other explanation for it. Wow. Okay. All right, you guys, um, I need, I need a break from this. <laughs> I've been working on this horde base for a long time. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to leave it as is for a few days. We're going to go uh, do some POIs. Um, we need to kind of continue our role play too. I mean, we're, we're supposed to be fixing up the army base. Um, so, uh, you know, make it, make it a, a CC. So, Alpha 9 or Alpha 9. Alpha 6 can come in. And at that point, I was going to introduce uh, some more NPCs and maybe play, have some NPCs come along with us. Um, you know, I don't really need their help, but it might be just kind of fun more for role playing to, to have them with us and just see how they do. Um, so, yeah, that, that's what's coming up. But uh, do we have, a, I think we have another, yeah, we have a tier 5 infestation here at the Good Life Apartment. So that's going to probably be what we'll do uh, in the next episode. So guys, I'm going to leave you here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.